KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 104, NASDAQ up 161, S&P's up 28, gold contract down $14.70 at, at $17.74 an ounce. We had silver up seven cents, twenty-three dollars fifty-eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down four bucks, seventy-nine dollars eighty cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note uh, down five ticks, trading one thirty twenty-five. The thirty-year off twenty-two at one sixty oh three. And king dollar, king dollar uh, down two hundred and six ticks, trading out at ninety-three eight eight three. Euro one sixteen. The yen at one thirteen point nine nine. The British pound at one thirty-six to one U.S. dollar. Bottom line, folks, is that you had the Federal Reserve, they kept status quo out here. Status quo being rates at zero. They're going to start tapering, which they said they were going to start tapering. They're tapering at the aspect of $15 billion per month. So they're, bu they're buying $120 billion per month right now. They're bringing it back by $15 billion. Guess what, folks? The, the Treasury is putting out approximately $12 billion less in bonds a month. So the supply and demand equation is going to stay the same. And what does that mean for bonds and notes? It means that, guess what? They're not going up. Right now, your 10-year note is trading at 1.58, okay? Uh, so the high for the last three months is 1.701. Uh, the low, uh, where is that low? 1.17. We've had quite a, quite, that's, that's quite a deal for three, for three months. There's no doubt about it. If we go take a look at the 10-year uh, right now um, in real time, what you're going to see, we're down five ticks, which is nothing. It pulled back to the price point of 130.15. It rejected lower price. It's going into its strength. Guess what, folks? <laughs> we're going to see notes, bonds, commodities, markets go higher. And I suspect, well, we'll see what the dollar is going to do. The thing is going to be really intriguing here is that realistically the way it works fundamentally is that if the longer that rates stay lower and other countries are going up on rates, um, that would get our dollar weaker. We'll see if that uh, is going to be the case. Uh, right now, the bottom line, it, the party is on, everything's green, uh, and they're going to let this thing run for a while. And when I say for a while, uh, inside of the, the press conference that uh, Powell did have, he was talking about going out to the second to third quarter of 2022. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.